Hi everyone, my name is Orlana and welcome to this channel. I just realized I've been talking to the camera for a few minutes straight without pressing the recording button, so I have to do everything again, <laughs> but it's okay. As I said, my name is Orlana and today I wanted to talk about things I wish I knew in my first year. Uh, this autumn I'm going to my final year, which is fourth year in my degree of economics and finance um, and hopefully I have some things to share with you. I'm not from the UK and I didn't know that Freshers Week is a very popular thing among the UK universities here. There are lots of events and activities organized by the university, societies on campus, people in general. So you can view everything on the university social media or alternatively go on Students' Union website and there you can see the whole calendar with everything everything in there. Participating in those events can actually help you to meet new people, but my favorite part about it is uh, clubs and societies, because it's a great way to meet new people who have similar interests to yours. So every society has a special event called Give It A Go, so it's an event where you can attend and get to know the society, people, what are they doing, what are their plans for this year. Many people like to joke that uh, on first year they just paid for all the societies they saw on the Students' Union website and never attended them. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was my case as well. <laughs> so I would recommend you to go to the Give It To Go's, uh, get to know the clubs before deciding to join. So I met a lot of like-minded people at different clubs, societies, during the lectures, and eventually we even created our own society. So we just talked about how to meet new people and let's go to the accommodation part. For the first three years of the university, I lived at the uni accommodation and to be honest, it's really great, especially for international students, because you don't have to worry about the bills, uh, Wi-Fi, water, electricity, everything is covered because you're paying your rent and it's everything you have to pay. Your bedding is also included, so you will have your duvet, uh, two sets of bedding sheets, uh, duvet covers and pillowcases. The only thing is that university doesn't provide you cutlery and kitchenware for the kitchen, but it's quite easy to get them in the city center or maybe even on campus. On campus we have a store called uh, the Green and Blue Space. Uh, it's basically like a secondhand store where you, can, where you can get some clothes or especially things for the kitchen. If you're going to leave with the uni accommodation, get to know your flatmates very well because um, obviously you're going to leave with them for the whole academic year. And of course, don't forget to bring some things from your home in order to decorate your room and uh, not feel too homesick. To be honest, I didn't feel homesick at all up until I came back home for Christmas, for New Year's. Uh, because the whole semester I was just too excited. Too many things were happening, I was meeting a lot of inspiring people and I was so happy that I didn't feel sad. It helped me not to think about being homesick too much. So try to find something that inspires you, makes you very excited, so you feel that Sterling is slowly becoming your second home. Now let's talk about the most important part, food. In this century we have a lot of supermarkets which are really close to each other. You can find Tesco and Sainsbury's. I can say they're a bit pricey, but I usually like to use my club card if I'm going to shopping in Tesco because it helps to get more deals and discounts. For my main grocery shopping, I usually go to Lidl or Aldi, which are like 15 minutes away from the city center. They're very useful if you need to bulk buy your groceries for the whole week and uh, it helps to save some money. Uh, there are also other supermarkets such as Marks and Spencer and Waitrose if you want to go there. And uh, for students who are living on campus, sometimes it can be a bit heavy to carry everything from the city center. So a lot of students prefer to get a delivery. delivery at pretty much any supermarket but one of the most popular was Asda because it's quite cheap and the delivery costs around two or three pounds which is the cost of your bus ticket. Really, there is a small co-op supermarket on campus. Next step is setting up your bank account and in the city center you can find uh, different types of banks and uh, you can choose whatever you want and they all offer student accounts. I just know that uh, if you open a student account at the Santander bank you can also get a free rail card which is really useful if you're planning to travel around the UK. It just helps to get one third of your train ticket. First thing I say is relevant to this time right now, August 2021, so make sure to check everything again, but yeah, some banks can actually give some nice deals if you open accounts with them. If you're an international student, please don't forget about police registration and collect your BRP card. 
the whole process is quite easy, you just have to spend a few hours on that and you can check everything on the, the university website. Now let's talk about a wide range of support and services available on campus. First up is a student hub. Student hub is a place that deals with pretty much everything from change of your academic program to mental health and financial difficulties. You can find all the details online. Another thing which I found particularly useful is a personal tutor scheme. Personal tutor is usually a member of academic staff from your faculty and they can help you with pretty much anything related to your student life. You can find who is your personal tutor on your university portal. On campus you can also use the student's learning services. Student lear learning services offer a wide range of workshops and webinars related to your academics, better planning, essay writing and everything you can think of. Uh, I love their Canvas materials which they uploaded this year and um, they were really great for uh, planning resources which helped me to organize my routine better and maintain my academic performance. And finally, one of my favorite services is a career office at the university and uh, I can make a whole separate video about it. <laughs> but basically, they help you with workshops and individual meetings for CV writing, cover letter writing, developing skills, finding opportunities and preparing for the interviews. Thank you so much for watching this video, that's it for today, but if you have any more questions left, please leave them in the comments below and I would be really happy to help you with any questions you have.